Mastering Virtual Communication Spotlight on Strengths and Weaknesses Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to dive into an extremely important aspect of English language learning. We're focusing on identifying strengths and weaknesses in telephone and video call etiquette. Now, why is this important? Well, being able to assess yourself helps in enhancing your communication skills and improving your overall effectiveness in telephone and video call conversations. Before we dive into identifying strengths and weaknesses, let's refresh our memory on telephone and video call etiquette. We have to remember that these types of conversations aren't just about what we say, but also how we say it and how we present ourselves. Here, we focus on our tone of voice, the language we use, and our overall demeanor. It's also important to respect the other person's time and ensure that the conversation stays relevant to the topic at hand. Identifying your strengths is an important first step in self-assessment. When considering your strengths, think about what you do well during calls. Ask yourself the following questions. Are you clear and articulate in your speech? Do you use the right formalities when greeting and ending the call? Are you good at maintaining a positive tone, even in challenging conversations? Can you keep the conversation on track? These strengths will serve as a foundation for your communication skills that you can further build upon. Now, let's turn to the more challenging part, identifying your weaknesses. It's not always easy to critique ourselves, but it is crucial for improvement. Ask yourself, do you struggle with maintaining concentration during the call? Are there moments when you interrupt the other person unintentionally? Do you find it hard to express your ideas succinctly? Is it challenging for you to handle difficult or sensitive topics over the call? It's okay to have weaknesses. We all do. The key is to recognize them so you can work on those areas. Once you have identified your strengths and weaknesses, it's time to strategize on how to maintain your strengths and improve your weaknesses. One way to do this is by practicing regularly. For instance, if you struggle with staying focused during calls, try setting a clear agenda for the call or take notes to stay engaged. If you often interrupt, practice active listening skills to ensure you fully understand what the other person is saying before you respond. And that's it for today's video, folks. Remember, identifying strengths and weaknesses in your telephone and video call etiquette is a continuous process, so keep assessing and keep improving. With time and practice, you'll find yourself becoming a more effective communicator. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep learning and growing.